do. You're too kind. Yes, hello again. We've got four more game players for you, and I mean really game, because they're hoping to uh, match minds as they play for both points and pounds. So let's meet right away the first of my celebrity guests, who's noted for her broad beam, and of course I do mean her smile. It's Nina Mishkov. <laughs> Uh, a, little, a little bird was telling me uh, just before we came on, you'd just returned from a holiday in Brazil, Yes, eh? it was absolutely wonderful. Yes. It was just glorious. I didn't want to come back at all. Because there are only two things to go to Brazil for. There's either the coffee or the nuts. Which did you go for? What do you eh? think? The nuts, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm amazed they let me out. You're terrific. Well, you're looking really fresh and wonderful and well as we go into the Thank new you. year. Nina, nice to have you on the show. Welcome along. Uh, let's meet the gentleman who is partnering uh, Nina, and his name is Henry Felstein. Now, what do, you do, what do you do for a living, tell me? I'm an estate agent. Are you? Yes. Oh. Very close. Now, of yeah. course, the, the, the boom is over, they tell us now, but is it uh, all not? Well, not for long, I don't think. Not for long, no? Hope not. So hold on to your house until the back end of the year and it'll all be fine, eh? Yeah. Or sell now and... Uh, or sell now. Maybe buy a bargain. Preferably through you. Henry and Nina, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> And in the blue corner, and it really is the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome a very fine celebrity, once voted by Nina Mishkoff as male of the century, but she didn't specify which century. It's <laughs> Nicholas Parsons. <laughs> Now, Nick, I know that you're taking time out from your pantomime in Bromley. You're playing in Babes of the Wood at the moment, That's which right. which is great. All the funny stuff and the high heels and the makeup. But you have also been voted rector of St Andrews University. Yes, but I can assure you that I won't go up to St Andrews dressed in my dame costume. <laughs> I don't know whether the students would uh, actually take to me. I, think, I don't think they'd have voted for me if they'd seen me do that. It's nice to have a rector here. He can bless me later. And Nick <laughs> Parsons with us, and also, of course, returning from yesterday. I said it was a team in blue as well. Welcome mm. back, Sheila Pettit. Hello. One hundred and seventy-five pounds so far, Sheila. Yeah. Have you know, now? That's a that's a tidy sum. Have you been thinking overnight at all about what you might do with that? Um, well, yes, I think um, I'd be thinking about summer holidays. Maybe perhaps it'll go a little way towards something nice. Or maybe buy some wool and knit something else. Oh, we know that's you like true. Doing that. Anyway, that's well, true. it's good to have you back here today, Sheila and Nick, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Right, OK, let's see what Thursday throws up for the first time here now on the pyramid board. Let's see, we've got, excuse me, in a lather. We've got twist and shout, hey. Hospitality, promises, promises. Have I missed anything? Flying high, I think I missed out on too. So, as you know, there are seven words in each of those categories, and eventually we'll get through all of them, and we certainly hope we will anyway, and a lot of guessing and describing will be going on here, and it is really quite hard work. You too, of course, will be seeing those words which come up in the categories on your screen at home. And don't forget the three naughty noises. We have this one for a correct answer, for a breach of the rules, this which we hope not to hear too often. That's only if somebody has used one of the words or part thereof that comes up on the screen. And of course, this always brings a smile. And that's for the lucky seven category, but more of that if and when it arrives. So, Nina, we will start with you. Choose on for me, please. Uh, twist and shout. Please. Twist and shout. We have seven things, in fact, here associated with Oliver Twist. Things associated with Oliver Twist, okay? You've got 30 seconds on the clock, and your time starts now. Uh, the villain. Uh, Fagin. Uh, uh, the man who wrote it. Uh, Charles Dickens. Uh, the city in which it took place. London. Um, what Fagin taught the boys to do. Steal. Uh, no, particular type of stealing. Pickpocket. Yes. Um, you're, if you're, they were all very poor boys, so what, was, what, what were they? Destitute, uh, uh, ragamuffins. Uh, no, they were poor. Another word for poor. Um, penniless. Pass. Uh, what didn't they have enough of? Money. No. <laughs> Oliver Twist. Oh, they didn't, because he always asked for more, yeah, didn't more. he? Oh, Difficult sorry. one, that. And what, a work, what was the word we were looking for? Poverty. Yeah. They were all living in poverty, and we thought it was Leighton Stone. However, <laughs> <laughs> at the end of that, you've got yourself four points. OK, Nick, you're looking so relaxed here. What are you going to choose? Well, I should, for Sheila's sake, go for Flying High, which she's doing. But as um, <laughs> I want to help her and I want to be as hospitable as possible, we'll go for hospitality. You'll go for hospitality, right. And there'll be more readings from War and Peace a little later. <laughs> we have seven things you might see when visiting a hospital. 30 seconds start now. 
uh, what you'd see at the end of a bed in a hospital with the temperature shown on it. Yes, chart. Yes. Uh, what people bring when they see people in hospital. Flowers. Yes. Uh, a, a nursing... Sister. Yes. Um, when a person's in hospital, they're called a... Patient. Correct. Uh, when you deal like this, you play with... Cards. Yes. Uh, a man who is doing a, a very responsible and Surgeon. highly skilled job. Yes, but Doctor. what's he called? And he does it... Consultant. No, it is very, very unique to him. He is a... Doing well, doing well. He's a specialist, a of specialist. course he is. But nevertheless, you did very well there. You've taken a slight lead. You have got five points. Oh. Okay, right. What are you going to go for then this time, Henry? Um, promises, promises. Promises, promises. <laughs> We have things associated with a general election here for you, all right? Seven things associated with a general election. We have 30 seconds on the clock and your time starts now. Something they wear. Raise it. Uh, what they are, they are... Politicians. No, no, in a, in a particular election, they um, are a... Candidate. Uh, they may knock on the front door. of a house and they'll, they'll stand on the... of, of the door. Of doorstep. Um, what do you do when you put an X on the piece of vote. paper? Uh, a, a candidate who gets no vote will... Lose his deposit. Um, they love to kiss... Babies. Yeah, ooh, and you almost had time to do the lot. That was very good. You missed out on leaflets. That's what we were coming to, but you did very well there. They've now got ten points. Right, well, let's see what we can tempt you with here now, then, uh, Sheila. She must go. <laughs> She'd like to go flying high. Oh, wow. And wouldn't you just know it, that mm. is the special Lucky 7 category. And, of course, you've got to describe these awfully well to the best of your ability. Yeah. Now, not that you always wouldn't, but make an extra special effort this time, because if Nick guesses all seven correctly, you will get our special pyramid prize, OK, as an extra bonus. Flying high, it's seven things associated with air travel. It's as simple as that, OK? And you have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Um, these are white things in the sky. You Clouds. Can, yes. yes. Um, this, the airplane does this when it starts. When it first... Revs up. When it first goes into the air, it leaves it the runway. Off. Yes. Um, you put this on when Safety you... Safety belt. Uh, another word. Um, it's Harness. part of your chair. It's part of your chair. And your chair... Another word for chair. But reclining uh, air pole seat. Uh, and, and this... Another word. Another. Uh, this is the girl who comes and serves the drinks. The air uh, hostess. Uh, another word for it. Tough one, wasn't yeah. it? Too. Stewardess is Stewardess. the uh, the other word. Seat, so uh, let's see. Seat. At the end of that round, you've now got eight points. Eight points. You're two behind uh, Nina and Henry over here. So therefore, we'll stay with you, Nick, in the final round. You can choose some uh, inner lather or excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, right. We have things you would associate with a ballroom. Eh? The old bygone days there. And your example is an orchestra, okay? Right. Seven other things you'd associate with a ballroom, and your time starts now. What you do when you move around like this? You dance. Yes. Uh, well, it's a longer word than that. Same word. But Dancing. Long. Yes. Uh, what do you dance on? Dance floor. Uh, yes. And uh, a kind of dance with a, a, a one, two, three beat. Wolf. Yes. Uh, what you wear? A beautiful dress. It's Ball often called... Fall down. Yes. Uh, what is the person you dance with? Your partner. Yes. Uh, and the man who leads the orchestra? The... <laughs> The uh, band leader. Pass, go to the next pass. one. Yes. Uh, she said band leader. Uh, and another kind of dance, which is a quicker one. Quick step. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we, we thought we'd finish that. Yes, no, 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 it's no. because you said the man who leads the band, and of course band oh, leader is down there, and that was part of it. <laughs> oh, Nevertheless, oh, don't worry, it's so easy to do, but oh. you have 13 points. Right, we have in a lather for you. What we bring you here are all things to do with shaving. And your example <laughs> is stubble. Okay? Stubble. And you've got 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. What do you use to cut your face with? Razor. Um, what do you use to lubricate? Uh, sh um, lather, uh, uh, foam, no, uh, no, shaving brush, no, uh, soap. Actual product. Water. No, it's, it's actually very moist and, and oily. Uh, pass. Uh, pass. Uh, when you cut yourself? Bleed. Uh, you cut yourself. Um, it's a little... Nick. A, yes. Uh, what do you put over the little Nick? Plaster. Yes. Um, uh, an opera. 
involving a barber. Barber Seville. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, ah. Whoa, well, what, what can I tell you? We have 13 points each, that means it's him for a tie break. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have got it if I hadn't said barber. I wouldn't have got it anyway. So don't worry. Right, this time we have here no categories are up there on the board. I'm simply going to ask you to make a choice here of would you like seven things beginning with the letter A or seven things beginning with the letter B? B. B, all right, so we'll go with B for Nicholas and Sheila. B. We will put 30 seconds on the clock and your time starts now. What you put the waste in? Bin. Correct. Um, soap. And it begins with a B. Basin. And, uh, no, it all comes up like this in a froth. Um, and get a lot of them. Bubbles. Yes. Uh, the, the, the floor, the absolute the right at the bottom can right Bo down. Yes. Right down there. Base. Yes. Um, if you tie something tightly, you, you get it like that. You, you get, yes. Um, you get things and you do it like that together and you put a thing around it. Pass. <laughs> uh, if you start something, you. Uh, Oh, oh, out of time, I'm sorry to say there, Nick. And now, however, you've moved on. Moved on to 16 points. So uh, you need four here in order to uh, come and play for pounds in a moment or two. OK, so Nina, you've got seven things beginning with the letter A and you've got 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Uh, a bomb. They split Atom. it. Uh, a kind of uh, monkey, a gorilla. Ape. Uh, something that's really dreadful, terrible. Awful. Yes. Uh, somebody who's very um, competent. Uh, and uh, uh, her brother with brother with cane. Able. Um, something you uh, throw over a board of, on a ship. Anchor. Yep. Uh, uh, a television thing that's on top of the house. Yes. Um, if you have uh, a pain in your tooth. Ache. And that separates them. The winners are Henry and Nina. Thank you. Great shape. Nick, you're going to play in part two again, of course. Sheila, we have to say goodbye to you, but yes. you got your £175 from yesterday, plus your pyramid trophy. Thanks for being with us. It's been marvellous as you, and I love the dress, by the way. <laughs> but right now, Nina and Henry are going to play for pounds. <laughs> Well, I know you've been watching us with interest all week, knowing you were coming along to see us, Nina, so you, you know roughly what you've got to do. Yes, now, and I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Sit on your hands, if you wouldn't mind, oh, right, so that yes. you don't actually use them here. I'll try very hard. We are hard. going to double the time on the clock. How are you feeling, Henry? Nice okay. Good, yeah, good. Right. good. It's categories for you to spot this time as you do the list of words, all right? We put 60 seconds and your time starts now. Um, on top of a house, uh, there are tiles. Things on a roof, parts of a roof. Yes. Um, um, Michael Jackson, Joan Collins, um, Chamber of Horrors, Wax Madam Works. Madam Swords, um, people in Madam Swords. Uh, go on. Um, As You Like It, Hamlet. Plays by Shakespeare. Yes. Um, pictures, um, uh, photographs. Things uh, in the gallery. Um, things that you would see things that exhibited. You, en you enclose them, you enclose them. Uh, things that you frame. Uh, yes. Um, tea, coffee, vodka, whiskey. Things you drink. Uh, yes, another word for that. Um, a longer sip. word. Uh, no, uh, a longer word. Um, a longer word. Um, things that you. It's uh, hot, hot drinks mostly. Beverages. Yes. Um, uh, a putter, um, a birdie, ace. Uh, the terms in golf. Yes, they're going to get it. I've got to tell you, I don't know who's more pleased with that. I've aged 20 years. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Henry got the money, but Nina got the kiss, so I don't know who came off best there. Yes, Dame had the beverage. That's the one that did it for you. <laughs> <laughs> well played indeed. That's marvellous, of course. And Henry, in part two, you'll be here to play again, this time with Nicholas Parsons. Excellent. So we'll have another contestant, of course, to play with, uh, with Nina here. So join us then, right here. <laughs> We're having lots of fun this Thursday, are we? Absolutely. I like being played. Yes, join us here in just a moment. We'll have another couple of rounds to play on the Pyramid Game. All right, we'll see you then. Welcome back to the Pyramid Game as we welcome to the show a brand new contestant, a promotions manager from London. Put your hands together for Sue Morris. <laughs> uh, 
And a fairly new business for you, apparently, the promotions game. Is that right, Sue? I've been in promotions for a long time, but I'm just starting out my business myself. Oh, your own company. Yeah. Well, I'll cross fingers for your success in Thank that. Thank you. Uh, you like uh, dancing a lot and listening to pop music, so uh, any, any favourite bands or artists at the moment? Uh, no, I just like pop music in general. Yeah. Anything that's got a good beat, as they yeah, say. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? <laughs> right, well, welcome to the show. We've got a brand new board here for you to play. Let's have a look what we've got up here on display as the lights begin to flash. Off your trolley, that's fine. Vanishing Cream, True Grit, King of the Castle, they're all up there. And Nina, which are you going to choose first, please? It has to be off your trolley. <laughs> <laughs> OK, fine. And we have for you seven things associated with supermarkets. Cues your example and your time starts now. Uh, the cash, where the cash is, the machine that keeps the cash um, cash register no it's a small word um, till yes um, uh, what you get out of the till money uh, yes uh, change uh, what you just said uh, before register uh, cash yes um, if there's a bargain slash price special offer yes um, what the goods are stored on shelves yes um, not vegetables but um, the opposite of vegetables healthy um, um, apples Fruit, ah, yeah. that's it, yes. It should have been the old apples, pears, fruit. Yeah. Uh, no, I shouldn't have. If I'd have been doing it, you would have got a bong anyway yeah. for saying fruit. Anyway, they've got four points, ladies and gentlemen. Very good. No. Right, so you'll be glad to know you cannot go off your trolley then. Nick, what are you yes. going to uh, well, choose for us? Well, Henry's here and he's going for the top, so let's try and make him the king of the castle. If I can have questions on that, we'll see what we can do for him. Yes, OK, you can. Right. And we have seven things associated with chess. Oh, yes. Not the musical, but the game. And Ooh. your example is a queen, OK? Not a dame, Nick, but a queen. <laughs> Seven <laughs> things associated with chess, and your time starts now. Uh, the thing on which... The, the board. Thing. Correct. Uh, in chess, you make... Move. Yes. Um, he wears a mitre. A uh, bishop. Yes. Uh, the smallest... Pawn. Yeah, another word for pawn. Rook. Yes. Um, uh, the, uh, uh, this is the word you've just said. Pawn. Yes. Uh, and and uh, you can have a chess thing built like this. A table. Yes, it's correct. And uh, also a thing that tells the time. Clock. Yes, yes. that's all you needed. And... <laughs> Very exciting that our clock had not run out by the time you had got all seven points. Well done. Then they need a gnash the old teeth. There's something to live up to, isn't it? But of course, it's got to be Sue to choose. And what would you like? That's fine. That's fine. Oh! oh. And that, of course, means that we have another Lucky Seven special prize on offer, a special pyramid prize. But you've got to guess very well here. And, Nina, you've got to get them all done correctly, of course. Sue will describe to you seven things you associate with the sun. Like shade, OK? And your 30 seconds start now. When you go brown. Uh, tan. Right. Uh, what do you put on uh, for protection cream. in the sun? Another word Oil. for cream. Another word. Um, uh, barrier. Uh, Rhymes with notion. Lotion. Uh, hot. Uh, another word. Heat. Uh, yeah, right. Um, when the sun and the moon go... Um, in front. Right. Um, are you lying sunbathe on the... Beach. Right. Um, when, when you get too much from the sun, you get a lot Stroke. of... No. Sunstroke. Oh. Sweat. Oh, quite. It was a glare, of course, which I know she's not going to give you because although you didn't get the special prize, the girls have moved on to nine points. <laughs> right, Enrique, what do you like? Horizontal hold. Horizontal hold. All oh, oh, right. Put one on me. Here, we then, have course. seven <laughs> things. Seven things here to do with wrestling. You've got 30 seconds on the clock, and it starts now. The sound that they make, they grunt. Groan. Groan. They groan. Word again. Groan. Um, the people that look at it. The spectators. No, but they, Audience. they love it. Audience. No, no, um, Fans. Uh, what they do, they pick them up and they... Sing them out of the ring. No, they, they do it with the ball. <laughs> and they throw it. them, they hurl them, throw them. Uh, it's a wrestling... A game, contest, match. Uh, they get ho hold. Uh, Wrestler, um, very famous wrestler, large Nick, father. Uh, oh, big, big daddy. Yes, very well done indeed. <laughs> and I think you hold the distinction there of being the first contestant, or certainly celebrity partner, ever to have answered two with only one description, which you did there with both grunt and groan, of course, and that takes you on to 14 points. 
So we're left with uh, True Grit and Vanishing Cream. You're behind by five. So a little bit of work to be done here, Nina. What are you choosing? Um, we'll try True Grit. True Grit you will have in that case. And it's all things to do with budgery cards. Oh. <laughs> uh, do we lead you up the garden path sometimes? We really do. Anyway, your example here is Cage. Okay. Seven things to do with budgies. Any time starts now. What they climb up. Uh, perch? No, what they climb up. Uh, a ladder? Yes. Uh, what they ring? The bell? Yes. Uh, what's on there? If they had a, a nose? A uh, beak? Yes. Uh, what they eat? Um, cuttlefish? Uh, uh, seeds? No. Um, it's a cut out of seed. Um, uh, you, you would cook it in a skillet, um, perhaps. <laughs> Round Pass. a skillet. Pass. Millet. Uh, um, what they do? Um, they, they talk, talk yes. they sweep. Uh, what they sit on? The perch. Yes. Uh, and what they've got covering them? Feathers. Nevertheless, the girls do have 15. <laughs> you like to choose? Wouldn't I think I'm having a very difficult decision here, but I think I'll go for vanishing cream. Right, okie dokie. And it's seven things you associate with a conjurer. Yeah, it's always a rebel, isn't he? Seven things you associate with a conjurer. Your example is trick. Okay, 30 seconds start now. Uh, what a conjurer pulls out of a hat, an animal. Rabbit. Yes. Uh, and what kind of thing? Does he, he pulls this rabbit out of what? A top hat. Yes. And he waves a wand. Correct. And he wears over his shoulders a gun. Jacket. No, it's a cape. Long, no, another word like that. It um, is, flows along the ground. It's black usually. Go. Uh, and we'll pass. No, pass. And we'll go on. What, and what are these? Hands. Yes. And uh, he has birds that fly out sometimes. Doves. Yes. And he creates what? Which is magic. Ah, and the gong goes, but it really doesn't matter this time because, Nick, you've done very well. It's taken you on to 19, and therefore the winners are Nicholas Parsons and Henry Felstein. Leaping Sorry. sprightly up there. Don't apologise too much. I think you played awfully well, and we've, we've all enjoyed. I your... do as well. Yes, I think so. We've <laughs> all enjoyed the time. Brazilian tan too. Sue, so you take away our pyramid trophy, of course, and thanks for being on the Thank game. You. In the meantime, Henry's going to play for pounds. <laughs> Now, this time, of course, the game is uh, really reversed. Well, need I tell you any more, Henry, because you've done it all before. So, Nick, lots of lists of words within those categories, and hopefully the categories which we can see here in the studio and, of course, in our sets at mm. home will come out of the lips of Henry Felstein, and he'll make himself another £275. <laughs> We've got 60 seconds on the clock, and your time starts now. Uh, pictures, um, brackets, lights. Things go on a wall. Uh, correct. Um, knives, forks. Cutlery. Yes. Types of cutlery. Yes, correct. Um, uh, Hen uh, Archer, um, um, Charles Famous Dickens. Famous authors. I yes, another word for authors. Uh, writers. Yes, correct. Um, um, ashtrays, clock, um, uh, pictures, candlesticks. Uh, pieces of furniture. Uh, warm, they're all found um, on the... Pe uh, five, five, yeah. things on top of the fireplace. Um, uh, um, Tesco's, Marks and Spencer's. Uh, famous chain stores. Not chain stores, another word for that, uh, smaller than that. Shops. Yes, and whereabouts. High street shops. Correct. And, uh, um... Ventriloquist yes, dummies. Yes, 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 famous dummies, famous ventriloquists. Yes, yes, go on, go on. Um, famous, uh, people who throw their voices. Yes, no, no. Puppets, famous puppets. What do I say? What do I say? Um, what do I say? Uh, <laughs> 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 go on, let's hear it, boy. That was terrific. Very difficult, that, because he attempted to come out with Turn me around, son, which is what the dummy really is saying, yes, isn't it? Yes. That, that's right, what a ventriloquist might say. Anyway, thanks for playing the game, Nick. It's been marvellous to Why see you again. Why did you give him that mantelpiece? Because you said found, dear boy, but there's no time oh, to explain. We're oh, back tomorrow. See I you then. <laughs>